What's up, everybody? Tanner Larson here, and we are going to get rocking right now. What I've got for you today is a special training on how to boost your average order value by 33% and increase your completed checkouts, which means conversions, by 18% with one simple Shopify app. Okay, now that's pretty cool, but I've also got some other really cool tricks to share with you because we just can't help it. We can't just teach one thing. We want to show you all this stuff, right? So, we are going to dive right in. So stick with me. Pay attention. Don't have any other browser windows open. This is going to be important. We're going to go fast. I get super excited as we get, get into this stuff. And I'm going to be spouting all kinds of information at you that you are going to want to keep track of. All right? So let's rock. So who is this for? Okay? Before we get too far into anything, I want to make sure you are in the right place. This training is for people with established Shopify stores that are currently selling physical products and who are suffering from either inconsistent income and or not enough profit. Now, you may even have consistent income, but you're just not making as much as you feel like you should be, right? Now, if you also don't have a Shopify store, but you're getting one or you're transitioning to a new niche, you'll still get a ton out of this training, okay? So this is Shopify-specific, though. So if you're on a different platform, this isn't going to help you, all right? So if you want to improve your Shopify store's performance and maximize your income, then this training is 100% for you, okay? So stick with us. Now, in the next 45 minutes, okay, I am, just to be totally transparent, I got nothing to hide here, I am going to be making a pretty incredible, if not spectacular, offer to you guys, okay? But first, I promise to blow you away with very actionable training and information that you can utilize whether you take advantage of the offer or not, okay? I just want to be transparent. I don't want anything, anything to be, you know, bait and switch or anything like that. I want you to know what's going on. So let me tell you what, I'm, what we're going to cover in the next 45 minutes, okay? First, we're going to cover the three growth levers that we focus on to grow both ours and our clients' businesses fast. We're also going to cover how to cut your traffic costs in half, thereby getting double the number of targeted visitors to your store for the same amount of money, okay? Which this is huge too. Then we're going to cover the out-of-the-box opt-in trick call it a hack, that we've used to generate over $24,000 in the last 45 days. This is a passive trick, one, two. Once you set it up, it just happens in the background. Also, how to use a simple image-based offer to increase your completed checkouts by as much as 20%. And, of course, we'll show you the app and how to use it that is increasing our AOV, average order value, by 33%. Does that sound pretty good to you guys? So I'm going to teach you all of that stuff, all right? I'm going to show all of it. And then at the end, we're going to have a, a pretty awesome offer that if it's right for you, that's great. And if it's not, no worries, okay? But how does that sound to you guys? Pretty cool? Does that sound fair? Yes, yes, yes. Hells yeah. Awesome. Totally fair. More than fair. Thanks for being up front. Cool. All right. Well, let's keep going. I have something pretty even more exciting that I didn't tell you about pretty more exciting. That's really proper English, but I'm actually pretty excited to tell you that if you just stick with us to the end of this training, okay, I'm going to give you a free gift, okay, and that is how can you slash your traffic cost by 50%, which is a PDF guide combined with video training that I'm going to let you download for free at the very end. All you got to do is stick with me and benefit and learn from this training, okay? So all you got to do is stay with me, and we're going to get this to you, all right? So that's enough. Let's keep going. So who are we? Okay, I'm going to do this real fast. I'm not going to take up a lot of time, but it's very. what I'm going to show you is going to be pretty eye-opening and probably blow your mind in a couple areas. So I need to set the stage so that that actually makes sense to you because how would we know this, right? So who are we? Well, that's a picture of Matt and myself. Matt is the one in the Instagram shirt. I'm the one in the BGS shirt. We're standing in front of the Facebook wall down in LA. And... We're business partners. We are the founders of Build, Grow, Scale. And we've been doing e-commerce since 2001 with over $400 million in e-commerce sales results. We've been rated as the top Shopify optimization experts for the past three years. And we specialize in helping companies build, grow, and scale highly profitable and sustainable e-commerce businesses. So on top of that, I'm also the author of the book, E-Commerce Evolved, which has become known as the Bible of modern day e-commerce. And we've helped dozens and dozens of businesses grow past the seven and eight figure mark. 
So a few of our clients, just to kind of set the stage for like who we're working with, the kind of traffic we deal with, the kind of products and styles and everything we're doing, you may have heard of one or two of these sites, right? And one or two of these companies. These are just a few of our clients. Now, the reason I'm telling you all that is literally just to demonstrate that we walk the walk, okay? We know e-commerce. It's the only thing we do 365 days a year. And I can say with 100% conviction that we are the absolute best at getting Shopify stores to convert. So what you're about to see is backed up by reality, real data, and everything is from the trenches real information. There is no theory, there is no hype, just factual data-backed training. So with that said, let's jump into the first part, which is the three growth levers, okay? There's lots of ways to grow your business. There's lots of different hacks and tricks and strategies and people and gurus and all this stuff you could follow. But Matt and I, we've tried, we've gone through it all. We're like, hey, this is too much. We only want to focus on what moves the needle significantly, okay? And we've distilled it down to three core growth levers. So the cool thing about these growth levers is that simple tweaks in each of these growth levers equals very big wins, okay? So the front-end growth levers that we focus on are visitors, which is kind of the same thing as traffic, but in our case, you can buy traffic and not all that traffic actually makes it to your website. So we talk about visitors, the people who actually land on your website. Then there's conversion rate, more conversions, more sales. And then average order value. The higher your average order value, the more money you make per customer, right? The cool thing is that a small 10% increase in these three areas equals a 33% increase in revenue. This is known as geometric growth because if you add 10 plus 10 plus 10, you get 30. But when you increase 10% in three different areas, you actually get a 33% increase. Okay, so that geometric growth. Now looking at this graph, geometric growth is the green line. Linear growth, which is how most companies grow, is the yellow line, okay? And then if you have no clue what you're doing, you're in that stagnant orange growth, right? We all want that hockey stick geometric growth, okay? The crazy thing is, though, people think it's really hard to get. And I'm going to show you right now, all it takes are a few simple tweaks. And I'm going to show you how to do those tweaks as well. So let's start with some examples, because I want to make these levers make sense to you okay i want to bring it home so what we're going to do is we're going to take an example company with some baseline statistics over the last month so this company has 8,000 visitors five percent conversion which equals 400 sales they have an average order value of 50 dollars and a gross sales of twenty thousand dollars per month this is some pretty normal stats for an e-com business there's nothing fancy here okay but these kind of numbers don't tell the true story okay so we got to take it a step further so if you take gross sales, now what I'm going to show you here, guys, this is cowboy math. Okay, I had to simplify it to make it easy to teach here. Your numbers may vary a little bit, but the, uh, the point is these, the numbers are consistent, but I had to simplify and not have 25 expense categories and break it all down to the minutia. Okay, so we just simplified it. So we take our gross sales. We have a 50% cost of goods into which we've, at, we've added in basically our advertising is all lumped into cost of goods. I know that's not normal, but that's what we did here just to keep it simple. Okay. So you get a $10,000 cost of goods on $20,000 in sales. Your break even is how many how much how many sales do you actually have to hit to break even and, and cover the bills for your company? So in this case, our break even is $5,000. That doesn't change. Our break even to this month is 5,000. Our break even next month is 5,000. Even if we grow, okay? Our break even does not increase at the rate of growth. This leaves us with a net profit of $5,000. Pretty standard, right? Now, Let's look at what happens when you do increases, right? Little tiny increases. So if we do a 10% increase, which is very easy, guys, in each of the three growth levers, which is more visitors, 10% more con or higher conversions, and 10% higher average order value, what you get is 8,800 visitors, a half a percent increase in conversion, and a significant jump in sales from 400 to 484, and a $5 increase in your AOV. That, those combined are each just a 10% increase in each number, but that equals a 33% increase, which gives you a gross sales of $26,000, which if we do the math on it, the cool thing is not the gross sales. The cool thing is seeing your net go from 5 to 83. Yeah, now we increased, but that's a significantly higher increase, right? So the, we went up 33%. 
simply by making a tiny, tiny increase in our three growth levers. Okay, is this making sense, guys? I'm going to show you another example, but I want to make sure this is clicking for you. Okay, this is where the real power is in focusing on growing and scaling a business. You focus on these three areas. All right. So now I want you to look at a 33% increase across the board because you're like, ah, 10% is not exciting. Okay, so let's say we had a 33% increase in visitors, we had a 33% increase in conversions, and a 33% increase in AOV. Okay, that gives us a 152% increase in our gross sales. It's a pretty big number, okay? But I want you to look again at your net profit. Okay, we've increased by 33% in each of the three areas. Our net profit has gone from 5000 to $20,275. That is a 405% profit increase. Okay, this is huge. We made a 33% increase to three different areas, but we didn't just get 33% more money. We got, or, or even 152% more money. We got 405% increase in our profit because our break even doesn't change just because we made more sales. Okay. Our cost of goods goes up, but that's a marginal cost, right? This is the power of these simple tweaks. Okay. So guys, let me know if you're with me on this. This is critical and it sets the stage for everything else we're covering. All right. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Mind blow. Mind blown. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Now, this is where I have to say, don't you just love math? Like, I suck at math, and I can do great math, though, with a spreadsheet. And I still love doing the numbers, right? Spreadsheet and a calculator, I'm good to go. But business is nothing more than a math problem. If you can solve the math problem, your business will grow, okay? But at this point, some of you are thinking, and I'm sure you are because we've all been skeptical before. It's like, hey, Tanner, these are fantasy numbers. Okay, a 33% increase in each area is just not realistic, right? And if you're thinking that, that's cool, no worries. But I would say to that, au contraire, right? Look at this crazy bunch of numbers here, okay? I don't want you to worry about what they all mean. What you're looking at is a Google Analytics report from a test, okay? And the test up top where it says new visitor, January 25th to January 28th, is the new test compared against the old test, January 21st to January 24th. Same ranges, back-to-back -back dates, right? The only thing you need to pay attention to on this sheet is inside this red box, and specifically the underlined numbers. So what you're seeing here is originally the, st the baseline was a 5.25% conversion, okay? The new test increased to 7.49%, okay? That's a pretty good increase. That's 2.24% improvement, but that equals a 70.09% increase to your conversion rate. So we were talking about, hey, just get a 10% increase, right? We just got a 70% increase on the conversion rate, and this is on a store, guys, that's already optimized to, to heck and back. Like, this is a really dialed-in store. So we still found a big win, and it's, it wasn't hard to do. It was one simple thing. And what it was, all we did was simplify and clean up the checkout, or not the checkout, excuse me, the cart. We made it cleaner, okay, so it wasn't so distracting. That's all we did. Yeah, it added an extra 3,000 sales in that four-day period simply by cleaning up the cart. 3,000 extra sales, okay, big, big, big increases, okay? So when I when you're saying, oh, 10% here, 10%, that's hard, too hard to do, or 33%, there's just no way, this just happened, guys, and it's a 70% increase, nothing fancy, on a store that's already kicking butt and is super optimized. So I want you to know this is all super attainable, all right? Okay, cool. Let's keep going. So let's jump into the first growth lever. Let's How can we actually increase these different growth levers, right? So it's super easy to get more visitors, guys. Oh, come on. So easy, right? Think about it. Start a new ad, right? Duplicate a profitable ad set that's already making you traffic. You do that, you're getting more traffic, right? Or increase the daily advertising budget on your ads or across your whole ad account. That's Those are the three simplest ways to get more traffic, right? And that's a 10% increase. Not a big deal. However, I don't want you guys to think about any of that right now. Don't worry about it. Don't even stress. We're going to cover in a little bit. I'm going to show you exactly how to cut your traffic costs in half and get double the traffic for the same amount of cost. So instead of a 10% increase, we're going to double your traffic, okay? 
I'm going to show you exactly how we do all that, and we're going to do that in a little bit. So just stick with me, and I'll come back to it in just a sec. Okay, so don't forget, though, we are going to learn how to cut our traffic cost in half. But right now, I want to get onto the juicy stuff, which is growth lever number two, okay, conversions. This is where everybody focuses and, or thinks they're focusing because it's what makes a sale, right? So what I'm going to teach you first is our first conversion hack, okay? This is going to boost your conversions. We're going to cover two of these different hacks. The first hack is basically the one spot on your site that has never made a sale. Okay, more than likely. And we turned an area that no one uses and many, many store owners don't even set it up into a $12,000 per month passive sales machine. Okay, how many of you guys would take an extra 12 grand for basically just setting up one area and then forgetting it and letting it just run, right? Totally, right? We all would. It'd be dumb not to. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this, all right? So the area in question is the Shopify store footer, that every store has a footer, right? And this, what you see here, is your typical sh store footer, right? Most of you probably have a store footer that looks something like this. Maybe it's organized a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing. And then over here on the right, you have the newsletter, where it says, subscribe and get the latest updates of shop, where nobody's going to enter their email address because they feel like if they do, you're going to spam them because they know for a fact you don't have a newsletter. All you want to do is send them offers, right? So nobody's ever going to opt into that. But that's what people have, right? Okay, so let's talk about what we decided to do. We said, hey, this is the problem area, but it's there, and we don't have anything else to put there. So how can we make this better? So the first step of this, part one, is, you know, our footer is a slightly different organization, which doesn't really matter, but the power is in what we did here. We said, hey, enter your, your email to receive a 10% coupon immediately instead of enter your, new your email and I'll send you our newsletter. Okay, at least here, they're getting something for it. We're, they're getting their email, they realize they're getting a coupon, which is marketing and sales, and they're 100% they're on board with that. Okay, and you're probably thinking at this point, Oh, that's kind of cool, but I've seen that before. That's not all that special, okay? Well, just wait, because it gets special, all right? So, they enter their email address, and then what happens? The reason th even this, when people do it, isn't so great and awesome and effective is because they enter the coupon. It then redirects them somewhere else to a another page, or it sends them an email with the coupon, and then they have to go to their email to get the coupon code and then hope they come back to your site. And you've basically got the customer on your site right now, but you are doing everything you can with this little form to get them to go somewhere else and be distracted instead of just staying on the site and purchasing, okay? Which is what we want them to do. So we got together, and by we, I mean Matt and our CRO experts, and they said, hey, what can we do here? The dev team, they started thinking about it. So what we were able to do is enter their email, receive 10% off coupon, they click get the coupon, and boom, this happens. They don't go anywhere. And the real special is right here. They enter their email, it disappears, and immediately it says, hey, thanks for signing up. Here's your coupon code. Right there in the footer, W10, they never leave. Okay, this is huge, guys, because now they've got a coupon code. We've also got their email address, which then sends them an email and also gives them the coupon code and then puts them into our marketing sequences on Clavio or whatever else. And boom, we're, we've just got them and now they can go purchase, all right? This is huge, all right? Now, people are like, oh, what if they put in a fake email address? So what? They still got the coupon code and as soon as they go check out, we're gonna get the real email address when they check out. Okay, not a big deal. Does it work? Well, why yes it does. You can see down here at the bottom a screenshot of the W10 coupon code. One use per customer. It's active since December 5th. It's done 432 orders. It's actually done more now because this screenshot's a couple days old now. But with this numbers, it's still pretty impressive because you do 432 times the average order value of this store, which is $51. And to be fair, it's actually over 80 right now. But again, it was 50 at this time, 51. So $22,000 is what it, is what this little opt-in thing at the bottom. How many of you guys would be willing to put this on your site to get an extra $22,000 a month? Plus, in my opinion, the most important thing isn't the money. It's the extra 432 orders, which means a whole bunch more new customers, right? Now, here's the thing. This is super simple. You could hire a dev 
to come in here and just do this for you, all right? We've shown you what to do. You can hire a dev to go in there and do it, or you can do it yourself. Or if you just hang with me, I'm going to show you how you can actually get our code and instructions and just paste it right into your site, okay? We'll get back to that in a little bit. But you can get our code, so you don't even have to figure out how to do this. So you want to see it live? How many of you guys would like to see what it looks like? <laughs> oh, of course. Show me, show me, show me. All right. Let me get it. All right. So you should be able to see a website called Breath Rocks right now. This is a Shopify store, right? Can you guys see that? Okay. So let's scroll down to the bottom. All right. Let's type in our, our, an email. And this is clearly a fake email, right? It's okay. So we entered the email. We click get the coupon. And boom. There it is. Right there on the site. They never leave. Okay. They can use the coupon code. They might not use the coupon code. Doesn't matter. The fact is, now we've got the email, and if you're like, oh, it's a fake email, so what? When they buy, we're getting the real email. And a lot of people, the majority of consumers, are not fake email people. You as a marketer are a fake email person, right? They'll more than likely give you a legit email. So if you do, then you put them into your marketing sequence, and you can follow up with them, and it just continues, okay? This is worth about $12,000 a month to this store, okay? And it's just passive. It just sits there in the footer. And the people who are going to find this are the people who actually are looking around, okay? The people who go directly in and they buy, they're not even going to see it. No big deal. But the people who are, you know, hesitating or spending more time and like, oh, are they credible or all this stuff, boom. And anybody who sees the trust badges are immediately going to see the 10% off coupon option, okay? All that right there is super credibility, which increases conversions and sales, all right? So let's hop back over here. How cool is that? Pretty cool, guys? How many of you guys want that on your store? Yes, yes, yes. Got to have it. That is awesome. Coolest thing I've seen. Totally. Okay. I know. It's pretty cool. And that's just one of the two conversion hacks that we're going to cover. Okay. So let's go into the next one. The checkout booster. Okay. So the next hack is all about giving your store a simple performance boost or a significant performance boost through a simple method. Okay. The focus here is on moving people from the cart to the checkout and from the checkout to the purchase. If you look here, we're all used to seeing these screenshots, right? We're used to seeing this in our, in our dashboard. You've got your added to cart percentage, you've got your reach checkout percentage, and you've got your purchase percentage, all right? So the before obviously doesn't look that good, but the before is pretty standard for a lot of Shopify stores. It's not too far off of what most people's stores look like, okay? Now after, the added to cart went huge, okay? That's a whole nother, I could do an entire webinar on just how we got the product page to convert higher, okay? We're not focusing on that, so just block that one out for right now. Focus right here on the reach checkout. It went up 116%, and the purchase rate went up 245%, okay? Because we applied this simple hack to get more people to reach the checkout and more people to purchase. So the two areas here, right, are the cart, and the initiate checkout screen or the, or the customer information screen where they start the checkout. So we got to get more people to go from the cart to click the checkout button and then get more people to go who are on the checkout page to click the actual advanced checkout button and continue on with their checkout, right? That's what we're trying to focus on here. And that's what creates these different things, these massive boosts. So again, we're talking about little 10% increases, but right here, th this is giving you 116% plus 245% which I'm pretty sure, again, math's not my strong suit, but I'm pretty sure that's over 10%. So we're doing pretty good. All right, so let's talk about it. Over here on the left, you have a standard Shopify ch checkout or sh shopping cart, excuse me. This is one of the pa paid themes that people love to use. There's nothing wrong with the theme. It's a great theme, but this is standard, okay? And then over here on the right, you have the BGS, amazingly awesome, totally cool, tanner-tastic and totally approved checkout booster cart. Right? I just added all those extra names to make it sound more powerful. But it's pretty cool. right? So the big thing you see, yeah, our button's a little bigger, things like that. But the big power is this. Use code GET5NOW to save 5% Monday only. Okay? We're just telling them right here, right below the checkout button, to get five, get, say 5%. So they copy the code. Almost everybody's going to copy that code and then click to proceed to checkout. Okay, it gets a huge boost. That's how we gained 116% was by adding that little bit of code. Super simple, right? And it says Monday only. So there is a scarcity play there. <coughs> All right, so that's part one. 
part two. On the left, you see a standard Shopify checkout. Okay, pretty standard. Yours probably looks exactly like that. On the right is the BGS boosted and Tanner approved checkout, right? What do we got here? Well, the first thing that jumps in your face is $5 off now. Be quick. Use code SAVE5 now, right? Right above the customer information. And that's cool, right? Because it's drawing their attention, getting them to go, holy crap, I got to use that. I forgot about that already, right? But on top of that, up here, we have this little yellowish box with a countdown timer. Your order is reserved for the next 9 minutes and 44 seconds. Save an additional 5% off. So it's a double whammy right there. This increased completed checkouts by 245%. Okay? Super simple. Okay? So we're way over 10% now. All right? Is this making sense? You guys liking this? Holy crap. <laughs> Nick says, holy crap. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Right? Okay. Now, you want to see it live? Well, I want to show it to you live. So let's go ahead and hop over here and I'll show it to you. Okay. So we're still here on Breath Rocks. We're going to go over here. Let's take this mandarin orange flavor because that's my favorite flavor besides the watermelon. But we'll jump in here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add it to my cart and boom. First step right here. Use code GET5 now and save 5% Friday only. So it updates, right? Today is Friday. Proceed to checkout. Got two items in the cart because I already had one in the cart. We're going to proceed to checkout. Boom. Right there. Got the countdown timer right here. Got the GET5 now. All right there in my face. Does it look good in mobile? Well, let's take a look. Looks pretty good to me. What do you think, Rob? Absolutely. It still looks good, right? It's all optimized to look right. Okay, let's do, go back from here. Let's go back to my cart. All right, let me just delete these products real quick. Okay, pretty cool, right? That's another hack. That's two checkout or two conversion hacks in like, what, eight minutes that I've given you that can do way more than 10%. And again, you guys can hire a developer to put this code in for you, okay? You can easily do it. say, hey, this is what I want, and they can go figure it out and do it for you. Or stick with us. Like I said, I'll show you a way you can actually get this code and just copy and paste it into your store and be up and running in a matter of minutes, okay? As well as all the instructions and videos to make it happen, right? Pretty cool. All right, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, now we got to get to the exciting growth lever for me. I love the other ones, but this is cool, all right? Average order value, okay? So what is average order value? Well, it's pretty much the coolest thing since sliced bread. Super important, right? The average order value equals the total revenue your store produces divided by the total number of orders. Not customers, just orders, okay? This is important, very important. And you probably already are tracking your average order value. Mike says, this is stuff we would, unbelievable content, simple stuff we would normally never think of. Thank you. You're welcome, Mike. This is what we do. And this is the things that make the biggest impacts on your stores. You don't have to do all this crazy stuff. But anyway, back to average order value. You're probably already tracking it. You're probably already aware of how important it is and all the things you need to know about average order value. Okay. But the big thing is, is that the average order value is the average amount of money that each customer spends when they come through your store. Okay. The higher that is, the more money you make. Okay. The more profit you have, all of that. Okay. So it's very important to be constantly working on bringing up the AOV, right? So an example, just to make this crystal clear, if last month's sales were $31,000 in your store and you had 1,000 orders last month, then your AOV for the last month is $31. Chances are your AOV is going to fluctuate periodically, okay, on a month-to-month -month basis, especially if you're constantly optimizing it. It should start climbing, right? Simple math. 31,000 divided by 1,000 orders equals $31 average order value. A lot of your business metrics are dependent on what your average order value is, okay? It's critical. And we know there's tons of these different reasons why it's so important. But the number one most critical reason that average order value is critical, said critical twice because it's that critical, to your success is this, that it's how you win at business, okay? Average order value allows you to win, Low average order value causes you to lose, okay? So, the higher your average order value, the more money you make, 
and the more you can spend to acquire a customer. The cost per acquisition is what we're talking about here. And if you can afford to spend more than your competitors can to acquire a new customer, then you are going to get all the customers. Now, you, what I'm saying right here is a more drawn out and you know broken down method or method verbiage, whatever you want to say, of Dan Kennedy's famous quote that says, ultimately, the business that can spend the most to acquire a customer wins. Okay, this is true. Okay, you should not be looking to to spend the least amount of money to acquire a customer. You should be looking to spend as much as you can afford and as much as possible to acquire a customer while still be breaking even and turning a profit. Okay. It is critical to have a high AOV for this reason. If you can outspend your customer or your competitors, you are going to beat them, you are going to win, and you are going to have a vastly more profitable and successful and sustainable business. So, a couple more things. The high AOV positively impacts the following. So, some of these may or may not be important to you, but let's go through them, right? So, that positively impacts income, profit. Lifetime customer value, cost per conversion and acquisition, repeat purchases, back-end profitability, growth rate, and scalability. So I'm guessing after I went through that list that every single one of those things is important to you and your business, right? Well, they're all impacted negatively or positively by your AOV. The lower your AOV, negative impact all the way down the line. High AOV, positive impact all the way up and down the line. And as Uncle Sai says, Somebody's got to win. It might as well be me. And the way you do that, aside from having a, t a famous TV show on A&E, is that you get a high average order value. So, with that, we know the importance of average order value, right? We know how critical it is. And everybody on Shopify knows how critical it is. And naturally, because of that, tons and tons and tons, I mean, seriously, search the App Store, uh, tons of different apps have been developed to help you increase your average order value on your store. There's tons of them that have been created. Now, like with anything, some work better than others, okay? That's just how life works, right? Some apps are going to work better than others. Now, we've literally tested them all because we have an entire network of sites and we are constantly testing them. And when I don't mean just installing them and saying, oh, that's cool, and then uninstalling it. I mean installing these apps, paying for these apps, running split tests against our other conversions and our baselines with Google Analytics, not just some random thing, but like legitimate CRO testing, okay? Multivariate fancy name for it, right? So we've used them all, and some have worked better than others, okay? Now, the problem with AOV boosting Shopify apps, so apps on Shopify that are designed to increase your average order value, the problem with those apps is their timing, okay? The timing, okay? Now, as we know in life, again, timing is everything. And in business, timing is critical. In e-commerce, timing is even more critical because you have this limited time frame of this customer journey and customer buying experience that you have control over, okay? And if you screw up the timing, you destroy that, okay? And your chances of sales go significantly down at an exponential rate, okay? That's even bigger than geometric, right? It's huge. Timing, if you screw that up, well, then you've screwed your conversion rates, you've screwed your sales, all kinds of stuff. And the AOV apps that are designed for Shopify mess up the timing of your customer journey and buying process, okay? Now, the reason for that, or the reason that happens, is that all the best AOV tools, now I'm talking about the ones that actually make the biggest impact or increase in your average order value, they all focus on the shopping cart, okay? They're trying to get you to add a new product in the shopping cart while they're in the cart. Now, you know, this makes kind of a general sort of sense, right? When you think about it, you're like, well, they're in the product or in the shopping cart. They're closer to checkout. It's the perfect time to say, hey, this is in your cart. You should also buy this. And you pop up something or you have a bunch of related items or anything like that. And that makes sense, right? However, when you actually look at the data and you go through the buying process and see what's happening, it actually screws up your store, it screws up your conversions, it screws up your sales. And testing has proven that while your average order value does indeed go up, meaning the app is working, the in-cart apps actually lower your reached checkout and conversion rates, okay? So what I'm saying here 
is that while you did increase your average order value, you also, at the same time, because of that app, gained fewer customers and earned less total revenue than you would have if you never used the app. So I imagine right now, every single one of you listening to this right now is looking like that, right? That's the face you're making because you're like, wait, what? I just installed this app to increase my average order value and make me more money. But the reality is, is that while it did increase your average order value, if you just didn't have that app on there, you would have made more money than the marginal increase from the increased average order value. So you installed something to make you more money and it actually made you less money while reporting that you think it's making you more. Okay, this is crazy. Now, we thought the same thing as you. We we're like, these, these things are the way to do it, right? Until our data started proving us wrong. And at first, we were like, this can't be right, right? We must be doing something wrong. So we kept testing it over and over again. We got second opinions. We, got, we rebuilt all of our tests. And time and time again, on every single store, it proved that AOV in-cart apps lowered the total amount of money we would make more than the increase from having the app on the store, okay? Crazy, but true. So here's what that would look like, okay, on a store. Your AOV is up 5%, but your online conversion rate and all your numbers, your reach checkout, your purchase, they're down like 45%, 29%, okay? You're up, but you're down at the same time. And so the reason this is the case is, so you got a 5% increase in average order value. Or let's just say you got a five buck increase in average order value, it doesn't matter. But the fact that you're getting... 29% less people to actually reach the checkout because they're distracted by the in-card upsell or turned off or upset or whatever the reason is that it caused a distraction, okay? They, that 29% didn't reach checkout. And then from there, 45% of the people who, you know, reached the checkout are not actually completing the checkout because they were interrupted because of the checkout app or the average order value app, okay? Now, the, why is that, okay? Well, on your store, once they're in the, the cart, okay, once they've gotten to the cart, the only thing you want them to do in that cart is check the, the checkout button. You don't want them to do anything else. You don't want them to add you to Facebook. You don't want them to add another product. You don't want them to go look at another product or, oh, you know what, anything. No, you want to get them as a customer. So the only concern is getting them to click that button and go to the initiate checkout page where they can start filling in their customer information and then click checkout. That's it. If you cause a distraction for whatever intention, even if you mean it totally good and trying to help your store, if you cause a distraction in the cart, you're causing a decrease, a massive decrease in conversion rates, as well as a massive decrease in customer satisfaction, customer loyalty, and repeat customer rate, which is a complete byproduct, but it's true. Okay. So there's three additional foundational problems to what we're talking about here, okay? So it's not just the average order value apps, okay? That's part of the problem. But Shopify stores are also not designed to make sales. This is another problem. They're not designed to create conversions. They're designed as an online catalog to display products. Sales are a secondary concern. Yes, they can take sales, and yes, they can be optimized, but there's still so many more limitations to a Shopify store or a uh, e-commerce store versus a direct sales funnel or something like that, right? Additionally, Shopify store themes are not optimized for conversions, okay? They're optimized to look pretty and have cool features and make you buy them and install them on your store for branding and all of that stuff. Even when they say they're optimized, they're really not, okay? And then also the third one is that Shopify apps are not designed by CRO experts who track all data not just some data. And what I'm saying here is that most apps are created with the intention of selling them to Shopify store users. Okay, that's the whole reason they're created. All right, and what they're going to do is they're going to, CRO stands for conversion rate optimization. What these people are going to do is they're going to test it and go, yep, oh, look, this average order value bunk works. It's flawless. It has no errors. And look, our AOV went up by 10%. They're not looking at how their app impacts any other apps or any other aspects of your store because they're not doing these kinds of tests, all right? And get the guys, the reason I'm telling you these three foundational problems, this these three problems are the reason that Matt and I are you know, 
the number, you know, top two, I can't say number one because we're two people. So we're like the top two Shopify optimization experts. This keeps us in business, guys, because these things are not done right. All right. Now, I want you to also understand, though, that we suffer from all the same problems that I'm sharing with you. We have our own stores, okay? We have partner stores that, we're, that we own equity in. We have client stores where we, you know, get a percentage of their revenue. So we are, and we have to experience all the same stuff you do, okay? Just the same way. We feel the same pain, all right? The difference is Build, Grow, Scale has a little bit of an advantage in that we have a killer team of CRO experts, uh, amazing developers, programmers, and marketers that all are under the same brand, and we can create our own solution. We can solve the problem once we figure out what the problem is. So what we did was we built our own solution, right? It's called Revenue Bump, and it is a pre-cart average order value booster that dramatically increases your average order value, but does not interfere with the customer checkout, okay? So it does not do all the bad things that the other ones do, okay? Because we designed it specifically to avoid that. So does it work? Yeah, I think it works. And I got a lot of stuff and stats and I'll show you all this cool stuff, but take a look here. 21% more income, more sales on 50% less traffic, okay? AOV is up, online store conversions are up, everything is up, traffic is down. So we're getting less traffic, but we're making way more money. Okay, yes, it works significantly, 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 significantly well. Okay, and I was mentioning the repeat customer drop that happens when you use an in-cart app. Well, our revenue bump app, again, as a byproduct, dramatically increases your repeat customer rate. And rather than me just tell you that, I'm going to let Drew Canoli of Organifi tell you that because he's got some pretty interesting statistics. Okay, so let me know if you guys can hear that. Hey guys, Drew Canoli here of FitLife TV and Organifi. I wanted to share this testimonial video for you because over the past 90 days, I've been blown away by my brother from another mother, Mr. Matthew Stafford. He's done a remarkable job. And I just had our CMO send me some stats, okay, of what's happened in our e-commerce business at Organifi. And Matt Stafford is the result of this. He's actually created this, which is pretty powerful. So we went from 2.75 million last year. We're on track to do 8.4 now for this year, which is incredible. That's like four times as much or more because he continues to work on it. And he's just amazing. Uh, repeat customer rate is up 70%. Wow. 70% for subscribers. We have like 15,000 subscribers now, and that continues to increase every single day. Conversion rate percentage has increased to an actual 7%. I believe we started around 2 so 7% is huge. So he's done an amazing job, and I wanted to share this with you because... So, is that pretty crazy? 2.5 to 8 million run rate, 90 days. Also, 70% repeat customer rate, 7% conversion rate from 2%. Okay, so the point is, this stuff works, guys. And it works really, really, really well. So basically, all, all we're saying here is, you know, this stuff works, so you can see what we're going to do. All right, why does revenue bump works? Well, okay, why does it work? Well, number one, it's ideal timing, okay? We know through the buying process when it's okay to present something and when it's okay not to. Now, so we follow the model of the order bump, which in direct marketing, direct response marketing, the order bump is that little checkbox add to your order offer that you make on the checkout page right above the checkout button, okay? It's two sentences. There's no distraction. It's one little checkbox. And because it's so in, you know simple, it's not distracting, it's right there, it can convert higher than almost any other AOV booster that there is, okay? And it's very simple to do, except for the fact that you can't do that on Shopify, okay? Order bumps regularly get 20, 30% conversion rates, okay? Or even higher, okay? So we leverage the ideal timing. In-cart apps are wrong timing, okay? They're in the cart. So we moved the, the positioning around so that the timing is right to not distract the customer, get them at the right time so that it continues on into the checkout. It massively increases AOV, okay? Big numbers that like you just heard from Drew. 
It does not interfere with the checkout flow at all. Again, going back to timing, it's smooth. The customer checkout flow does not get interrupted and we get them to do exactly what we want them to do at each step to move them into the process of purchasing as quickly as possible. Because once we have them as a customer, then we can sell them anything else we want, okay? And we have at that point, we have no more acquisition cost because we've already paid for the customer on the front end. It improves the customer experience. There is tons of global data out there that pop-ups, in-cart in -cart, pop-ups, uh, opt-in flows, anything you want to say, you know, hovers, related products, things like that, actually decrease the customer experience and customer satisfaction significantly and also hurt your conversions. There's tons of global data on that, all right? But it also, with our app, it makes post-checkout one-click upsells more effective. Our Revenue Bump app is pre-cart, pre-checkout, okay? So for those of you who are using, you know, Funnel Builder 2.0 or Ezra's one-click upsell or... Uh, cart hook from Jordan Gal, and you're doing the, the post one-click upsells, post purchase, keep doing it. They're going to get even more effective because you'll be able to dial those in better based on your higher average order value on the front end using revenue bump, okay? So how about a live demo? You guys want to see it? I'm going to grab a drink real quick and I'm going to click over. Let me know. You guys want to see it? Awesome. Cool. Let's jump over there and see it. Well, where's my little clicker? There we go. Okay, so let's go. Let's just start with Breath Rocks, okay? So let's go over here and let's go to the variety pack where you get one of each, okay? Can you guys see this? Awesome. Okay, so you're here on the page. You see the product that you want. You add it to cart. Scroll down, add to cart, trust badges, and then right here it says add another pack to get free shipping, right? And then look, boom, success, free shipping. This has now been added to this product on the page. So if I, when I click add to cart, I'm getting both of these. Oh, you know what? I also want a three pack of watermelon and I want a three pack of Mandarin. Okay, add to cart. They all show up in the cart. And then you can still see, we still have the get five now and everything else. So nothing in the cart happens except getting them to click the green button to continue to check out. Okay, everything is right here. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'll do it again. Actually, I'll do it again on another one. Okay, so let's go over here real quick. This is another product, okay, the Mandarin Orange. But what just, ha uh oh, what just happened there? Did you see that? That was really cool. So we've got the Mandarin Orange, and so these are all products with no variations, and if they had variations, it would probably select the default, except that wouldn't work for us. So we coded it and created the app to do something very specific. Watch what I hover over the middle. I can select a three pack, a six pack, or a nine pack. So I can select variations right here. Okay, and it also can I can also say, hey, two ninety nine shipping, free shipping, whatever, and then I can add my quantity, whatever I want, and I add and boom, success added, six and nine pack, boom, right? Add to cart. Now they're all there. I've got my two quantity here, I've got my one quantity there, and we're in business, right? Can you guys see how crazy this is? But it gets better, okay? So let's hop over here and let's look at it again because you know what? It's one thing if you sell simple products like the breath crystals, but what if you sell apparel with lots of variations or, or mixed products or whatever else, right? So let's scroll down here and you can see it again on this store. Frequently purchased together. You can control this. You can call this call to action, whatever you want, okay? Stay with me here, guys. This is where it gets really important. So on this shirt, we also have the option to add a four pack vinyl sticker, we could add a Faith Hope mug, and then, oh, we could add this other shirt, right? Which we can select the, the size, we can select the, the Heather, the color we want, which is Heather, we can select quantity, and then I can add it to my cart, and uh, you know what? I don't want this mug now. That's okay. I've still got the other products. So we have complete control over variations, okay? I'm going to refresh it real quick because people are saying, hey, what's this look like on mobile, right? Okay, so here it is. And now I'm going to inspect it on mobile, scroll down, and there you go. You select the options, and they drop down. Okay, and then you can scroll side to side to see whatever products you want. Now you can turn the scroll on. You can turn the scroll off. You can have one product in the collection. You can have 10 products. And here's the thing. You could have one default um, you know, bump offer, which, we call, which is a collection, right? 
or you could have one for every product. So you could have a specific, you know, three different bump products or six different bump products or whatever for this shirt. And then when they click, you know, they click on a different shirt, you could have a whole different series of upsells, right? So the thing is, you can control it based on, hey, we know from, from our purchase habits that our customers who buy this shirt all buy typically or most buy these products too. So we're going to try to pitch them right there. Or we could turn this over and say, hey, we just want to take our best selling four products um, and put them as the d default bump on every single product on our store. Or we could have a default one on every product and then on specific products where we have some more tightly focused offers, we could customize it. You have complete control over all of this. You can also mix variant products and non-variant products in the same bump collection, okay? And this is on your main store. This is not using a third, this is, this is an app that installs on your store, okay? This is the revenue bump app. That you're not on a, a landing page or a funnel builder page or a, you know, a click funnels page or anything like that. You're on your Shopify store, okay? And it's super easy to use. So let's hop over here and let's take a real quick walk through the back. So we're in the app section. You click revenue bump, which is the name of the app. And this is one of our test stores so we can show everybody all what's going on. So you got your setup instructions. And what you're doing to create these, these different bumps is you're creating specialty uh, collections that are, okay, so you, the bump is, the, is the, the keyword that's used in all the collections. And then you can create a tag to add variants to specific products and basically set all this up. The videos make it super simple, but literally you create a collection and you name it what you want, you tag it what you want, and it will show up exactly where you tell it to. Super, super simple. And you can have as many of these as you want. Then you come over here and you can have the slider. Okay, so the slider is the, the thing that goes back and forth. You can turn it on or off. You can have as many products show on mobile as you want or as few. So we typically only have two show on mobile because it's a smaller screen. And you can control how many show, how many wide show on the desktop. But you could have three wide but 15 products in there and it would just scroll through on the slider. You can control the speed. You can control everything. Then you can come over here and you can edit the settings. So you can control the text, the success text, and change the color, the view, the border, anything you want, right? And then, of course, you can control your variance. So you can make it, you know, look different. You can have it, you know, change the text color, the background color, the foreground color, the box color, the button color. All of it is controlled from one this, this one tiny little dashboard, okay? This app is incredibly simple to use. And by setting all these up, you get to do things like this. So we'll do this. We're going to add this to my cart. I'm going to take this. I'm going to add it. And boom, they're all in my cart, plus the other stuff that I already had in there. Okay, pretty cool, right? It's insanely powerful, and you can use it on basically any kind of store, right? We're using it here, whatever, right? So let's go ahead and hop back over. I'll show you some more stuff. All right, so let me give you some more in-use examples. I showed you the live. I showed you two different stores and how it works and the, and the mobile and all of that. But let's take a look at a few more in-use examples so you can get the full aspect of how it can be used, okay? So the first in-use example is movement watches, okay? So what you're doing is you're seeing the watch. They picked their dial. They got the brown band. And then be below that, to the right, they can add a second strap, a third strap, a fourth strap, or whatever. And it will add those straps. When they click Add to Cart, it adds them to their order. They've also added an image below it that says, hey, get 20% off a strap when you add it to your watch order. All of this does not interfere with them checking out. Okay, it's at the time where they're still in consideration mode. They're saying, I want this product. Oh, you know what? I have it in tan, but this watch would look really awesome with that black leather band as well. Click, add to cart, boom, they're on, off to the races. Another example is more of a tactical offer where they're selling a tactical flashlight, right? And this is a very tightly related one where it's, hey, buy this flashlight and then add any of these products below and receive 10% off at checkout. But it's not 10 three random products it's hey you bought the flashlight you want the rechargeable led batteries you know do you want the speed charger for to charge your batteries faster you want the holster yep i want to you know add all those right so you can do that okay also the next example would be the fishing site right so you're looking at this shad colored deep dive crankbait lure right and then they've got this, this option selected but they could also get the hooks the spool master you can do all of that right 
And Jane says, I can't find the Revenue Bump app on the Shopify store. No, you can't, Jane, and you never will. Or Janelle, excuse me. You never, you never will find it on the App Store. I'll tell you why in a minute. So here's another way you can use it, right? And then here, here's a print-on-demand one, right? You got the print-on-demand Pitbull sweatshirt, right? They can do all their options here. And then below it's like, hey, get free shipping if you add the Pitbull necklace. And then there's the charm or the Pitbull lava thing. So if you're using Gear Bubble or Pillow Profits or Viral Style or any of these other ones that have all these different you know, print-on-demand products or even other products, you can mix and match them, okay? And if you are using print-on-demand and you also have your own products, like let's say you are selling print-on-demand, and then that, that uh, Pitbull necklace is a product that you actually sourced yourself or you just sell from Alibaba or AliExpress or Dropship or whatever. You can mix and match all the products. It doesn't matter. It's not going to affect the, the app. It'll work just fine on the back end. Okay, so there's another one. Then here's another one for a kitchen store where super tightly related offers, again, because that's what converts the best. They have There's default products, but in this case, like, hey, these people just bought a watermelon slicer. Okay, so we're going to show them more slicers that are tightly related. Hey, get the easy avocado slicer, get the fruit slicer, get the vegetable slicer, the spiral vegetable slicer, right? All three of those, they can add whatever they want, and they realize when they click it, they get free shipping, and it says, success, you just got free shipping, basically, right? So all of these things are not only AOV boosters, but they impact your add-to-cart rate on the product page, which gets more people to your cart, which means that you can then follow up with them through cart abandonment. Okay, so now you know what they've added and what they're interested in. Even if later they delete something from the cart, you can still follow up with them and say, hey, I know you added that easy avocado slicer. You never checked out on it. Would you like a 30% discount to grab it now? So you can do all the more effective marketing using this app as well simply by getting them to the cart in a better way and seeing what they actually like and want to buy. Okay? So... In this example here, it says free shipping. You can change that to say whatever you want. This one says get free shipping. You can say get 10% off. You can say add any product below because I want you to buy more stuff. You can control any of that. You, the success text where it says in green, success free shipping. You control all of that. So it works with anything you want to put in there. Okay, You control the offer text and the call to actions. All right, so let's go to the next one. This is... A charm one where it's like, hey, I bought this. I live in the USA, but heaven is my home. And then I add these other charms. And this is the mobile view. So you can see it as well, as well bigger than just you know the, the example I showed you. Very simple, very clean, and highly effective. Okay? So isn't this cool, guys? Can you guys see yourself using this? I mean, it, there's the possibilities are endless. And we've implemented it on dozens of stores personally and have other customers that are using it. And it's, it's working across the board. So from the web, the live webinar, the other live webinar that we did when we couldn't get the recording on Wednesday, okay, to today, over a third of the people who have the app are already making sales in two days. And over, I don't know, over 50% of the people haven't even installed it yet. So we're just talking about half of the people who bought the app who've actually installed it. Of those a huge number of them are already making sales. And I'll show you why. It's really crazy. If you install it, it makes money. That's the crazy thing. So Matt Schmidt sure thinks it's cool. Okay, and as you guys probably know, you've probably heard of Matt Schmidt. He's a has one of the most popular training courses on, on e-commerce right now. He's a very talented marketer. He's also part of Matt and I's Black Label Mastermind, which is our high-level e-com mastermind with all the top e-com guys in the world. So he was testing with it on one ad, okay, that he started on January 25th. And $187 in ad spend means just a trickle ad. So over those days, it was just very basic. But it spent $187, and it brought in $658, which is a 3.51 return on ad spend, which is 350% return on your ad spend. And then, of course, he's like, hey, I think I'm going to be able to scale the crap out of this ad, right? Very, very, very cool, right? So here's how. You can get your hands on Revenue Bump right now, just like Matt did. So things you need to know about the Revenue Bump app. I'm going to show you how to get your hands on it, but I want to be totally clear, totally transparent, so you understand what you're getting, okay? So first of all, this was not developed as an app to sell to people. This was developed by our team in-house, initially for our own use, because of all the problems that we were having, and we found out with 
that the lowered conversions from these other apps that we were using. So this came out of a need we had. And originally, it was just a script, okay, that we would work into a code and we had to have our developers install it and set it up individually for each product, for each thing, all of it, right? However, we use it every day on our sites and our client sites. So we finally developed it into an app because it was such a pain in the butt to set up and configure when it was just a code, all right? And it's gone through this ground up recode to allow you and us, because Matt and I are not that technical. I promise you, if you saw us and the confusion we have on tech stuff, like I don't even know how to set up my own cell phone when I get a new phone. My wife does it, all right? But you control every aspect with no tech skill required from the dashboard, all right? And Revenue Bump is currently not available to the public, and it will never be available on the App Store, ever. We're not building apps to be an app business, right? That's not what we're doing. We're not trying to put it out there to everybody. Now, the other piece I want you to understand is Revenue Bump works, okay? The Breathrock store you saw is having a 60 to 70% average, but fluctuates a little bit, take rate on the bumps using our app. 60 to 70 percent. In other words, it's making a ton of money for a lot of people. All right. So when we release revenue bump to the public, it's going to cost nine hundred and ninety seven dollars. So basically a thousand bucks plus three percent of the monthly income generated by the app. So that's going to be our monthly fee. However much money the app helps you generate the increase, we're going to take three percent of that. That's the play for this app when it goes to the public. OK. But don't worry, that is for the regular folks, the public, okay? As part of the Build, Grow, Scale family, which is the only way you would be seeing this offer, is if you're on our list, you're part of the BGS family, you guys get a special deal, okay? So right now, you guys get limited time family special pricing, okay? Instead of the 997 with the 3% monthly flow, you can have one of two options. You can get revenue bump for the yearly price, of $397 billed once per year for a single store license, or you can get a one-time price where you'll never pay again of $597. And this is grandfathered. You'll never pay a percentage and you'll never pay again, okay? And on both stores, on both options, I mean, you get unlimited usage on your store. You get a single store license with either option. If you have multiple stores, you'll need to buy it multiple times. You need to buy multiple licenses, okay? Because it's already super cheap. Here's the thing. We are not going to cap you out. Lots of these apps that are super cool, they're like, oh, by the, t by the you know, when you get to a certain usage level or you, ha you create this many collections or you have this many impressions or whatever, they cap you and charge you more money. It pisses us off, right? We've all experienced that with email programs, right? Oh, you're at 25,000 subscribers. Now you got to pay more. Oh, you sent 17 emails instead of 15. We, you owe us more money. We are not going to do that because we don't like to be treated that way. So we won't treat you that way. Following up on that, we also will not ever charge you for upgrades or tech support. You're part of the family. You get the yearly price or the one-time price, okay? Your choice. And all you got to do is go to buildgrowscale.com forward slash family right now, okay? That link should be in the chat, and you guys can just click it or you can type it if you prefer, okay? The important thing here, guys, is this. That's the price when it goes live, $9.97 plus 3% of your monthly income that are generated by the app, okay? If you don't want to pay that, then this is your chance to actually save a ton of money and get the exact same app that everybody else is going to pay a whole lot more for, all right? And you're getting this, again, because you're part of the BGS family. Now, there is also a reason you're getting the family discount, okay? You're not paying the percentage, all right, because you're part of the family. Revenue Bump is here to stay. We have a full team of full-time developers and CRO experts behind this app that are ongoingly improving the platform. So as part of the family, you must be okay with helping us to test out new features and provide feedback of what you do and don't like as we roll out new stuff. You also must be willing to occasionally complete surveys that help us improve the usability and the feature set of Revenue Bump for all users. OK, we want you to help us make it better. So if we ask, hey, do you like this new feature? We want you to tell us yes or no. It hurts this or it helps me here. The more you help us, the more we can help you. So that's the reason. So if 
that sounds fair to you, please type I'm in in the chat right now. Let me know that you're on board with what we're saying here. You think that's a fair offer and a fair, you know, request from you guys. So let me see it in the chat. I'm going to grab a drink. I'm in. Already bought. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I bought it. I bought it. I bought it. Stop now. I'm already in. <laughs> awesome. Maverick says I'm in. Cool. So to grab it for yourself, guys, if you don't have it yet, buildgrowscale.com forward slash family right now. And we're going to put it back in the chat again for you so you guys can click it without having to look for it. Now, let me ask you a real quick question while we're, while we're on this topic of you getting revenue bump. All right. How much money do you think revenue bump will make you? I just showed you that basically a third of the people who bought it a day ago are all already making money with it because they've installed it, right? The other thing is we showed you that a Breath Rocks, 60 to 70% are going ahead and taking one of the bump offers, which is increasing the average order value. We're up over 30% just in the last week from t using this app, okay? So how much do you think you will make? It can't help but make you money, guys. But let's actually do some math and break it down to simplify it because I want this to be clear that this works and this will pay for itself over and over and over again. So if revenue bump only increased your average order value by $3, which would be pretty dismal, but let's just say low, 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 low numbers, right? $3 increase. That's all you got. And if your store only makes 10 sales per day, okay, pretty standard low a lot of us make way more than that right but if it only made 10 bucks per day or 10 store orders per day with a three dollar bump then you're making an extra nine hundred dollars each and every month which is almost eleven thousand dollars a year all right just from literally using this app with dismal results all right the first month you used it you would have more you would have been in profit even after paying for the one-time special of 597 okay you had a three hundred dollar profit now, let's say your conversion rate, which also goes up, only increases enough to give you an extra two orders a day. If you have an average order value of 50 bucks, that's an extra $36,000 per year, literally just for turning on the app. Okay? So, can it make you a lot of money? Heck yes. Will it? Yes. There's even something even cooler. If your store is already making sales, this app will start generating revenue within a matter of minutes of you installing it. It's that quick. It's that fast. Okay? All you got to do is go to buildgrowscale.com forward slash family. You'll be able to install it within a matter of maybe say 10, 15 minutes. Be set up within a totally ready to go within less than half an hour. And boom, you're making money. Okay? Right away. As long as your store is making sales. So, as if that wasn't cool enough, obviously this webinar, you can see that Matt and I love to over-deliver. And I think we've already over-delivered insanely just with the hacks and all the stuff we've shown you guys. But I'm going to make it even sweeter. Not only are you getting the discount, we also have a special bonus package for those of you guys who take action quickly and grab the bump because we're pretty cool like that. So limited time bonus number one is called the Fast Start Intensive Training. It's an advanced training with Matt, myself, and the BGS team where we're going to take you through and get you up to speed, answer all your questions, show you different use cases, and all the cool stuff that you can do with the app, okay? And you're going to get access to that when you take action. You're also going to get bonus number two, which is optimized e-commerce. This is Matt and I's five-module conversion rate optimization course that teaches you the 24 optimization tweaks that have resulted in a 124% increase in conversions and a 307% increase in profits. This normally sells for about, actually not about, but exactly $297 all day long as an upsell or front end on the, on the, on, in life, right? So you're going to get that as well. This right here, we're giving this to you specifically so that you can implement those three growth levers in an even bigger way right? You've learned the three growth levers, and now you're going to have a CRO course that's going to show you multiple different ways to get those 10% increases over and over and over again, simply by using this. Bonus number three is only available with the one-time payment option, the 597 option. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to give you all the code and installation instructions you need to add the opt-in Shopify hack to your store. This is the one where they opt in, they get a discount, and they never leave the footer of your site. 
Okay, we're going to give that to you, all the code, so you don't have to go hire a developer and spend a couple hundred bucks and, and time or anything else. You're literally going to get the training video, the installation instructions, and the code so you can put it in your site or have your team put it in your site for you immediately. Okay, that's bonus number three. It's only available with the one-time payment. And finally, bonus number four is, again, only available with the number one, the one-time payment. And we're giving you the checkout page booster code for both your cart page and your checkout, right? You're going to get the complete code and installation instructions to add this to your store immediately. It'll probably take you 10 to 15 minutes to get this all set up, okay? And again, you don't have to go hire a developer or figure it out or test it or tweak it or whatever. You just use what we've already got and you'll be in business immediately, okay? But again, it's only available with the one-time payment option. So what you're getting is the yearly plan for $397 with the, the, the fast start training and the optimized e-commerce course. Or you go to the one-time payment plan, which is by far the best value for $597, never pay again, never pay a percentage of income, and get all four bonuses, two of which are the actual implementation code that you copy into your store and will start boosting your conversion rates immediately. Okay? Now, there is a 100% money back guarantee. Take 30 days. Try it out. Okay, if it's not for you, that's cool. But here's the deal. This isn't like an info product. If you decide to request a refund, the app will stop working on your store. You're not going to keep the app if you don't pay for it, right? That's only fair business. So if you don't like that, please don't buy it, okay? You, but for free, test it out. Buy it, take it out, 30-day test drive. If it is for you, keep it. If it's not, then don't worry about it. We don't want your money if it's not working for you, okay? The other critical piece that you need to know is that this bonus is limited to the first 35 people, okay? So go to buildgrowscale.com forward slash family. Okay, it's not space Y. That screen got kind of goofed there. But Matt's going to copy it into the chat again for you and let you get it. So I don't know exactly how many are left right now because I've still been talking. I haven't had a chance to check. Matt's going to look in a second. But this is your chance, guys. Get in and grab it. Get the life, get the one-time payment option or the yearly option, whichever one fits you better, Okay. It really doesn't matter. The one-time payment price is obviously the better deal, but if, if finances are tight, go ahead and get the 397. Totally cool, right? The only thing you're missing is the two bonuses. All right. Now, I know you guys have some questions. Okay. Before we get to the questions, though, I want to give you your free gift. I promised you guys that if you stuck with me till the end, we would give you a free gift. So look in the chat. There's a link to download a zip file that contains the slash your traffic cost by 50% training, okay? No obligation, no opt-in. It's, it's a direct download link, okay? Promised you guys would get that. This is only available to you guys, too. It won't be on the replay because this is for you guys as a reward for st staying with me, staying on here, and sticking through to the end, okay? This is for th those of you who are on live. So back to the Q&A. Okay, I know you guys have some questions. So let's go ahead and start answering some of those questions real quick. Go ahead and type them in the chat. And if you are in, if you already purchased, let us know. Sh shout it out so we can say hi, okay? Buildgrowscale.com forward slash family. This is what people want to see. Okay. So let's see. Matt, you want to come on here and find some questions? And Okay, Matt's answering questions quietly. I'll go ahead and take them loudly. <laughs> Hang on. I was trying to give my voice a voice a blank or a break. Uh, Mike, no, this is a Shopify only. We only do Shopify. We've we've eliminated our work on other platforms. Uh, yes, you can use Funnel Builder on this. Okay. You can use card hook. You can, this is because all that happens after the checkout. Okay. This happens before the checkout. Uh, Morgan, uh, Matt can send you a direct link. Just he wants the one time. Damien, this is going. Yeah, Damien says this just changed my business. I'm doing three million a year with no upsells. Game changer. Yeah, Damien, you're going to be very happy when you install this sucker. Lucas says, "Does this? Do we, should we use this instead of one-click upsells? Are they more intrusive? Whatever? Absolutely not. 
apps what they should be used together to get most power we use one click upsells post purchase like everybody else does right but we boost our aov as much as we can on the front end first then they check out and then boom they get to the upsells i mean now we can change the upsells to be even more powerful because we've already gotten the the little products or whatever out of the way on the, on the revenue bump app Uh, no, no, guys, we, we use funnel pages and we use the store. Our, you know, we have so many clients as well as ourselves who are, you know, have such massive stores that basically BGS has dedicated itself to figuring out how to get the Shopify store itself to convert the same way a sales funnel converts. And that's where this stuff has come from. That's why you see the, the screenshots where we're getting six, seven percent conversion rates on our stores, not landing pages. That's our stores. OK, we use both. We test both. All right, so again, buildgrowscale.com forward slash family. I got a couple more things that I want to show you. We got a few more use cases that I think are going to really drive this home for a lot of you guys in a little diff couple different ways you can use it. So you should be seeing another print-on-demand shirt, right? This is a skull, and, you know, Christina in our office here, she is infatuated with Day of the Dead. So this skull really appeals to her, and she would be the perfect customer to buy every single one of these products that you can see on the screen. But what we're seeing here is one skull design across multiple profit or products, all right? Hey, you love the sweatshirt. Chances are they may like that design on other products. Hey, I want it on a phone case. I'd like it on a pillow. How about a tank top, okay? You can take the same design and scale it out. So for those of you guys who are using print-on-demand platforms like Pillow Profits, like Gearbubble, like any of these other ones, this is huge, right? Massively huge. So you can totally custom dial in every single bump to fit with the product to increase conversions the most. All right, here's another one. This is one of my favorites, okay? So here's a toy. I like elephants. This is a cute elephant. But what I really get excited about is the additional products in the bump. So we're offering them a 10% off call to action. But look at the products that we're offering. They're not normal products. We've got Hey, buy gift wrapping. Hey, if I'm going to buy this toy, chances are I'm an adult. I'm not buying this little stuffed animal for myself, right? I might be, but I'm. let's just pretend I'm not, right? So I could say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and get this gift wrap because, like, I'm a dad who sucks at gift wrapping, and, you know, I'm like, here, here's the cardboard box. So if I could go ahead and get it gift wrapped, and when I open the cardboard box, then I hand it to my kid, I'm doing good. Maybe I need it quicker. I can do priority processing right there. OK, not shipping, processing, getting it out the door quicker. And then it's like, hey, you know what? I've got two kids. Mine are they're going to fight over that elephant. I can buy two here. Or you know what? If I get another one through this bump, I can get one half off. So I can get two with, you know, a BOGO, right? Not one. Yeah, half off. This is cool. Anything you can dream up can be used on the revenue bump app, right? Is this making sense? You guys seeing how you can use this? Absolutely. Totally cool, right? All right, so I know you guys have more questions. Keep typing the questions in. Just let me know. And remember, fun fact, the Revenue Bump app will start generating revenue within a matter of minutes, okay? Literally, that quick, if you install it and use it. The only way that's going to happen, though, is by going to buildgrowscale.com forward slash family, clicking the, or clicking the link in the chat that Matt just pasted, and going to the order page, picking the one that's right for you, and getting action now. And remember, the bonuses are limited to the first 35 people. I don't know how many we've got left right now, but you know what? It'll, it'll disappear off the order pages when they're gone. So if you still see them on the order page, buy it because you're going to get the bonuses. All right? Don't wait. Get it now. This offer will not be live for more than a couple days. So this is your chance. All right? This app will work with whatever products you have on your store. It is does not matter where your products come from. It has nothing to do with that. Will not interfere with any other app on your store except for another average order value app. And it wouldn't even interfere with it, but it would be kind of pointless to have one that's in the cart that actually lowers your conversions when you have ours that goes big. So I know we've got a ton of people that are taking action. We've got, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I love this. I'm scrolling through the chat right now trying to see questions that I might have missed. Awesome. All right, guys, here's the deal. Write this link down right now, buildgrowscale.com forward slash family, because when I end this webinar, you won't see this link again. 
All right. So if you are like, oh, I got to wait till I'm driving. I got to get home or I got to, you know, you know, get my credit card. Or I left it, whatever. If you need time, you better write this down because this is going to be going the second I close this page. You won't see the link again. All right. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the training. I hope you loved what you saw. You got some great actionable information that you can totally use and jump into it right away. OK, if you got the, the app, we will see you on our you know customer trainings that we do and all the cool stuff. We'll see you in the things. And I want to say welcome to the family. Mike says you love the training. Mike, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, everybody, for being here today with us. And we will see you later. Have a great day.